So, uh, oh, you got it. Awesome. What was wrong with it? I don't know. That pin, it goes. See, it, it, yeah. it just drops down. I pushed on it. Okay. Okay. Um, I've had that for uh, this is probably 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it works. So let me see. We talked yesterday about kind of lifting that leg. Let's see what you got. Okay, take a break. Take a break. Um, so I'm going to show you. Have you ever seen one of these? Okay, so the idea behind it is it's designed to help bend the knee. Uh, how tall are you? Okay, perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up a little bit. It's really designed to do both. It can go into extension and it can go into flexion. Um, today is the, really, I mean, it's been 24 hours, a little more than 24 hours since the manipulation. Uh, I told you yesterday, today and tomorrow will probably be the most painful days. But I want to get this set up so that we have options. Perfect. So obviously these are designed to go like this is a left side knee brace. Can't use it on the right side because of the way it's shaped in there. I want to see, can you bring that over just a little bit? That's good. I don't want you to slide out of the chair. What does that feel like? I'm going to slide the lower piece up. steal that back so you didn't get much sleep last night I haven't got much sleep in the last month yeah you feel like lightheaded or dizzy or anything I was earlier this morning but I was before I Get hold of my medicines down. Okay. So let's see. The legs definitely a little, definitely a little more swollen. I know that plastic piece under there. The hard part is always getting it kind of fitted while you're sitting, but that's okay. I just want that to kind of hold position. That calf muscle sore? No, you, when you twist it a little bit, it hits something. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to lie. I get jerky every once in a while. Yeah. You, you've never been a jerk, but you get jerks. Okay, so basically, and, and it's not exactly where we want it yet, but that's okay. What happens is this guy, as I twist it, what you're going to feel is you're going to start to feel a little bit of pressure. Right, right. As I turn this, it's working on the bend. So what I want you to do for me, and I'll kind of support it, Go ahead and bring your foot back toward you just a little bit. This foot? Yes. Yeah, this foot. That's it. And then stay there. That's all I can do. On That's fine. By myself. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bring it to where you are right now. There's a little gauge here, but I'm not too worried about that. I want you to feel a little pressure, but I don't want you to feel pain. Because I'm just getting an idea of where you're starting, you know. This will also help us track progress as you're improving. So at this point, let's see if we can go just a little bit more in terms of back. There you go.
What does that feel like at that point? Nothing yet? Okay. Okay. Let's pick up the leg and bend the, bring the foot back a little more. And if this piece underneath is pushing in there too much, you just tell me because it's kind of sitting funny on the feet. How? Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can put that, pick that foot up one more time. Perfect. You know, so each time we pick up your foot, the foot sliding back, the knee is bending a little bit more. Um, just to give us a baseline, I'm going to leave it right where it is. So at that level, we're at 55 degrees of flexion. Um, you don't feel much in the knee just yet. You feel a little pressure down here from the pad. Okay. What I'm going to do but it's comfortable. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give it just a little more. And then I'm going to let it just stay like that. We're going to let it just stay like that. It's warm in here, but it's not so much warm outside. Yeah. I'm so slow outside. I, I wear something comfortable. Oh, for sure. You have to. <laughs> So last night you got home. How did you do getting out of the car last night? Okay. But I have been doing the little exercises with the ball and the rolling pin. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have a. a, a a little ball like you got. Right. But I had a tennis ball. Perfect. And a tennis ball, you could, you could and it's going to do a yep. massage and curl at the same time. So I've got those two things. Excellent. Excellent. It, it's the little stuff. It's stuff like that. Like every hour or two, you do a little something. Um, you can't do it all at one shot because then it just makes you sore and uncomfortable and I think little bites of exercise is what we want. Yeah, now what, I, what we was trying, I have a belt and I tie around my ankle, not tie. Sure. Bit, and you get in bed and raise the, this thing stays straight in bed. Right. This one here I start inching up. Okay. And pulling on the rope or on a, the belt at the same time. Right. And it's it kind of like a stretch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you're doing that to improve the bend? Is yeah. that, yeah? Yes, that was, the, and still be able to push down on your leg. Right, down right. And, and knock the hands down. Right, right. That was good. good. Perfect. Perfect. Those are my highlights. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Let me see. I want to put this loop under your foot. And I want to see. If I can figure out a way to get this guy so he's not yeah yeah that's a better position um, it's under the seat but the seats not pushing it into the back of the knee so now what I'm going to ask you to do, you can loop that over, you can hold it however you want. Use that to give it a little bit of pull back toward you. If we can slide that foot in a little bit more. Awesome. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn this up just a little bit. What does that feel like? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Must be doing it wrong. I feel some maybe movement across the skin there. Yeah. Places, yeah. Which it's hard to define what's going on. But... It is. It's trying to find. There we go. I'm going to give it a little more. What I do is once I hear the Velcro start to pull a little bit, then I know that we're getting snug. I'm going to take another measurement. So I said we were at 55 before. We're at 75 now. Yeah. I could bring it back to 77 on my own. Okay. On my own. Okay. Then when he had right. an assist, we went from 77 to 83. Right. That's where we held it, at 83 at that point. 83 is great. I mean, just just 75 right now without much agony is, is good. You know, so I'm just going to turn this wheel. You stay right there. What we'll do is we'll give it another kind of minute or two. I'm watching the clock up there. And, and this is, I mean, it's a little bit of watching paint dry, watching grass grow, but that's what it is. <laughs> what did you used to do for work? I was a Okay. In the last 12 years, I was the main maintenance corner over the front half of the Mound Laboratory, which is no longer in existence. Oh, yeah. We lived off of my paycheck and just throwed her paycheck into the bank. Well, that's a way to do it. Wish more people would do that these days. All right, let's give it another little pull. Awesome. And then just let it rest there. So this is something we're experimenting with today. And then what we're going to do is I'm probably going to give it to you to start using at home. The best range of motion you had when your therapist at home was pushing was 83, right? Do you remember what, how close to zero you got when it was going straight? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. Don't remember that at all. But he might have not made an issue out of it to me. Sure. What I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to leave it where it is. Can you just move your knees side to side? Almost like you're, you're bringing your knees together. You can think of, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I'm more interested in going in anyway. Like if you could kiss your knees and relax, bring them together. That's it. What does that feel like? Perfect. I can tolerate that. I'm going to grab something for you if I can find it. Just take a break. I'm going to put this in here, but don't worry about doing anything with it yet. Okay, can you squeeze that little ball and then relax? And let's do like 10 squeezes.
The muscle. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Right. <laughs> Don't forget about me. <laughs> and I think that's the thing, you know, it's, it's trying to manage the muscle pain that you've been feeling that tourniquet kind of pain wrapping around the thigh. Um, the, the pain back here when I was touching and, uh, some of the stuff you have going on out here. And top of the arch too. Yeah. Yeah. That comes and goes and then it stays for a while. That's where it's right. I try to do slide out some things. Yeah. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. Okay, give that a break. I want to get one more measurement. This will be the last one we do, and I'm going to take everything off, take the device off. Let's lift it. Okay. You just do your best to relax. So right there, we're at 81. Without me, you know, we're at 81. So let's, I'm going to take the pressure off. This got down to, if I go with the top number, it's at two. So we'll use that for reference. I'm going to take this pressure off. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yes. Ah, absolutely. It's like a pressure release valve. Yes. All right, let's get that guy off. All is good in the world again. They're durable. 